Hello, subscribers and future subscribers. I'm Karma Jolt. This game is Quest of Dungeons. And I know what you're thinking, uh, which, which is weird. Stop thinking all those weird fucking thoughts. Okay, so I know my character died. I know this. And I know that I also said that character death is permanent. Um, but I was like, hey, why don't I just start a new game with the same old character and get to where I died, like where I was when I died, uh, and just continue the series until I finish this quest of dungeons. So I'm going to continue as a level 7 necro dancer. I actually don't remember what level I was when I left off, but I'm pretty sure I was on the third floor. I don't know, I could have double checked, but let's say that's where I was when I died in the last video. Um, so you might have also, you might also remember me complaining about, Oh, I can't, I haven't found any spell books. What's going on? I, I haven't learned any spells. Well, this time, I learned a fuckload of spells. And apparently the Necro Dancer gets some busted ass shit. Like, I have two AoE spells that can cause dots. Like, I can cause bleeding and combustion. Not only that, but I have ranged... Fireballs, I have ranged attacks with zero cooldown, so combat is going to be way easier now. Like here, check this out, Loke. First of all, there aren't any enemies around here. Secondly, I can just fucking... Okay, I already combusted that guy with a fireball. I combusted his ass is what I did. And I found a key. So... So far I'm doing great, except I just walked over a trap for no reason. Because I was being cocky, I guess. Look, I got Fireball, and I have... Okay, so I got Summon, which, as the name implies, summons a fucking dude. Who will fight for me! Like, look at him whacking that ghost! Um, I did, however, make the mistake of, uh, accidentally killing my own summoned creature last time I was playing. Uh, which, which led to something bad, because I thought he would block a boss for me, but I ended up killing him. Yeah, by the way, I also have another zero cooldown ranged spell called Freeze, which has the potential to freeze enemies in place. May maybe I can get it to happen here. Oh, I don't... Okay, so I do have mana problems as the Necro Dancer. But it's really not that big of a deal, because, like, you can sort of walk around to get your MP back, or you can just find a random potion, how about that? Dude, I can teleport this. <gasps> My summon monster comes with me when I teleport. What a smart puppy. Sort of. Uh, occasionally he will step right in front of me. He or she, I don't know. Will step right in front of me as I'm trying to walk places. And I will accidentally end up slashing him in the body. Um, so yeah, I just I accidentally kill my friends all the time. Hey, by the way, I found a luck shrine, so that's cool. Luck balance? I don't know why they call it that. I think it's an imbalance is more like it. Oh, he's still around. He got lost. I think he actually lost sight of me for a second. Um, and now that I have some mana back... Oh yeah, I also got a spell that I like called Spikes from Hell. I don't know... Every time I cast it, my character does the little attack animation. So I'm not sure if I'm actually attacking that square as I cast Spikes from Hell. Um, but what else did I get? Oh, I learned Teleport, which I think costs like 50 mana. Or maybe it's 30, but either way, I don't have enough for it now. I learned a spell called Lightfoot, which increases my chance to dodge and crit. Oh, my summon monster! I should have, I should have warned him not to step on sharp things. Ah, oh, if only I had taught my friend how the world works. Uh, let's see. So, what else did I learn? That's about it. I still got the bomb spell. Which is bomb AF. Good thing I leveled up too, because I was getting low on HP and mana. 
Um, oh yeah, does this go back to the other portal that I found? Yes, it totally does, okay. So that's handy to know because there was still one door that I hadn't opened in that room, so I can go back real quick. Real easily, I guess, is what I meant to say. Um, and yeah, so I got some baller-ass weapons now. Is this better than what I have? Mighty Bird Mace Nair. Beer? Near? Um, so here's what I don't fucking get. It shows that this has way less power than my current weapon. Oh, but this gives plus four melee power. So when I equip this, my, my, whatever this stat is, goes up. Even though this says that I have plus three, this will give me plus three power. So, I don't know, this has critical chance mana and melee power? That sounds pretty good. Like, this one even ha gives even more just regular power. But it still seems like I'm not quite sure how the numbers work out. I guess I could just pay attention to how much damage I'm doing. <laughs> knock knock. Who wants to tell me a joke? Stop running! I actually did stop running. I think if I wait, though, <clears throat> my character will tell me something sassy, like, Um, are you still there? So that's about to happen, like, right now. No? Wait for it. Right now. I'm waiting! No? It's not gonna happen? Necrodancer? You're just totally patient with me? That's nice. I like that about you, Necrodancer. That's a great quality to have. Also, uh, critical hit chance is a good one, too. Found secret stash! Wait, hold on, Mr. Goblin or Skeleton with a Sword. L allow me to pick up these gems for a second before I critical hit you. I got a new quest. Search Crown of the Antients. <laughs> Alright, sure. Searching at the East Position of Floor 3. Well, hey, we happen to be on Floor 3. That rhymed. I could be a lawyer. <laughs> The connection I made in my brain there was during the OJ trial, the guy was like, Ugh, if the glove doesn't fit, you must acquit. And that was basically like the fucking bomb that he dropped on this prosecution. Uh, like, hey, uh, I'm gonna make this rhyme. And we're basically, that just proves our innocence. You remember that from like 1993, maybe? I don't know, 95? Jeez, that was a long ass time ago. Uh, so, I'm checking the map. Because. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna do the thing. I'm gonna do the thing that I said I'd do. And take this portal. Back to the rooms that I haven't explode. Explored, but I pronounced my R's improperly. But it sounded like I said explode, like to blow up. Which is not what I meant. So, man, remember last time I was playing through this game and, like, regular mobs were difficult for me? Now they're fucking not. Uh, and bosses were certainly a challenge, but check this shit out. I still got... Wait, what am I using? Bomb? Okay, I'm gonna use bomb still. And if I wanted, I wouldn't have to even touch either of these enemies. Uh, but instead, I'm gonna Fireball. Because Fireball costs less mana than Freeze, if I remember correctly. So what does this say? This costs five? What is Freeze? Uh, pardon me. Bam, it looks like it says nine. I have to get my face real close so I can read this text. Which is how I read everything, by the way. And it embarrasses my family. They're like, oh, why don't you just quit reading? We know your eyes don't work. Oops, I meant to hit up, but my fingers weren't on the right buttons. Hey, check this out. I got a cloak? I got a better cloak? Man, I got a lot of items. I should find a merchant soon. My critical hit chance is so good. I wonder if that's a a characteristic specific to the Necro Dancer, like my, uh, did it say doomed? Oh, it probably said dodged. So, like, what are my stats? How do I see them? It's probably something like... No, it's nothing like that. Uh... 
Yeah, I wonder, because I'm pretty sure dexterity and dodge chance and crit chance are all stats. Maybe they're just invisible. Maybe I just can't see them, no matter how hard I try. Yeah, I can totally shoot around that corner, too. Combustion failed. That's fine. You still exploded him. I still destroyed his spirits. Which is, which is what he was, just a spirit. I mean, he was a ghost. So, what's left after that? After you destroy that part of him? Probably nothing! You can tell that the, um... You can tell when a shelf hasn't been checked because it has cobwebs on it. Because it still has a spider house, technically. Um... I'm gonna use bomb. I'm gonna use... Don't hurt me! No more. Well... It's tough love, but that's what it is. What is love? I can kill a joke pretty easily, I gotta say. Like, I can take one punchline and run way too hard with it. Oh, shit. That guy totally sucked. Well, he would've if he had used his blood suck maneuver. Mmm, a barrel of gems. Like, you know... <laughs> If I were to store my money or valuables anywhere, why not a barrel? Hey, look, I'm gonna use two AoE maneuvers. Uh, because I... Because there were multiple enemies on screen. Ooh, one of them's bleeding out. It's the vampire. That, that means he's losing all of his nutrients because blood is, first of all, blood. And secondly, that's what vampires live off of. I guess it's technically what humans live off of, too. Because it's something you need to survive. You need all your blood. Or at least, most of it. Okay, I have two search quests, so that's cool. Now that I'm really well equipped to fight bosses, it's giving me all these non-boss quests. Oh yes! I will sell so many things. Shit. I definitely spent, like, the greater portion of one of my videos uh, trying to remember what Oh Yes is from. I think it's from a Deus Ex um, fan video. Like a, like a, sort of like a, it's like almost like a YouTube poop. It was like one of those parodies. And it was really funny. If I find it, I swear I'll link it in the description. But anyway, uh, some stupid other YouTube video that I saw, like, six years ago is the reason I say, Oh yes! The way I do. So, that's probably interesting and good to know. I can probably just right-click, yeah! To instantly sell. What's that, an apple? Well, if only I had a pen! You know what I could make with that? An apple pen, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, okay, so I love keys. I think I need a rusty key. I think I need a rusty key because somewhere upstairs... I left a rusty door, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Do I really need any equipment? Well, there's a cracked shield. There's a light key and a gem key. I'm gonna buy a light key, I think, because I've got four gem keys. And I... Can't quite make the money to buy these other keys. I, but I can if I finish these quests, so let's go do that. Any quests? No? Nothing in here? Okay, so where do I need to go? No, that's not what I'm looking for. That's the map. I'll need that in a second. I need to go east and north, but not at the same time. So, shit, I look, it looks like I am in the southeast portion of the floor of this floor. Where the fuck did this guy come from? Probably just spawned. Wait! Did I just leave a hat here? Did I just leave a perfectly good protective hat? How did I miss that? That's fucking weird. That's not so weird. I was literally just explaining about how my eyesight is terrible, so... That absolutely makes sense that I would do something like that. Alright, bunch up for me, dog. Hey, he's bleeding out. I don't even need to... You killed my friends. Look, I'm really sorry about that. But someone also must have killed you at one point. Shouldn't you be a little more worried about that? 
I don't mean to deflect the the issue here. That that was kind of rude of me. Like, hey, you killed my friends. Well, other things could be worse. That's like a weird debate tactic. Which works all the time, apparently. Yo, one gold? I'm taking it. Okay, um, found a dead end. Which, I guess, explains all those ghosts. Haha. <laughs> uh, let's try to search that unexplored room. Uh, wait, did I? Okay, yeah, I just went the... I just went the correct way. What is wrong with me? Boss fight. I'm calling it now. In this room. No. Well, gold. Uh, I think I've been here, right? Yeah, that would ex okay. That would explain all the broken shit. So, where am I now? Yeah. I'm back to where I thought I'd be if I took the same portal I did before. Um, so, I need to go east. I also need to go north, so I'm gonna check that uh, unvisited chamber and see where it's gonna take me. Hey, here we go. Any pendants? An independence? There's an independence, Missouri. Who are you gonna call? What? Oh shit, it's my old ghost. Well, um, if I know a thing or two about my old ghosts, it's that she knows two spells, shield and bomb, and I know fireball. New ghost defeated. Oh shit, I'm about to pick up a whole fuckload of items right here. And some chicken. Yeah, you bet I'm gonna eat that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink some milk. Oh, she was in the same room as this pendant, and she didn't find it? Well, I completed a quest, because you don't even have to bring the pendants anywhere. You don't have to bring the quest items to a specific person. Also, once you get them, that's it. They're not even in your inventory. You can't equip them or anything. What is this? Look at all these pants I'm finding. That's a better shield than I have, and better pants. What's going on, dog? Uh, it's like someone left their clothes and shield in that, in that chest, just for me. So, that was one quest. I haven't seen a boss yet on this floor. Ah, oh, but I've seen multiple secret stashes. What are the odds of that? You probably have no idea, but if you do, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Or if you don't, feel free to speculate, I guess. Um, it said it wanted me to go east, right? Or did it say west? Try searching at the east position of floor three. Uh, well, maybe, maybe it's in a room I already visited, but since, yeah, okay. But since I had, um, I had found the quest marker, after I explored all the rooms. It just spawned somewhere. So that's cool. Alright, so it looks like I'm going west and north-ish. West-north, if if I could make up... If I could coin a phrase. And I do fancy myself quite the wordsmith. I, uh... I appreciate vocabulizing nary a time. Wow, that's why I'll subscribe to my channel, right? All the good jokes. Oh, there's just a door in here that I didn't... Haha, -ha, there's something in this room. And nothing in this room. Okay, so was there not a single boss fight on this floor? Here's what I'm gonna do, though. I'm gonna go upstairs to see if I can use any keys. So, what is that? That I, I think that's the rusty key door that I was talking about before. So is it close to me? Not quite. It's up a bunch, then right, then up some more and right. Ugh, I hate directions and moving and having to do things. Like, why can't you just do nothing all the time and succeed at life? Come to think of it, though, that's what a lot of people do. 
uh... Like, okay, so all the time I go to, like, these, like, celebritybirthdays.com websites to see, like, oh, I just wonder whose birthday it is. And it'll be like, oh, this person you've never heard of, who is way rich and famous, they're turning four. What are they known for? Being a family member of, you know, someone. So, I mean, hey, not that I have a terrible, oh, shit, I got so much stuff in my inventory that I have to drink. Which, I don't know why I'm complaining. Damn! Ah, uh, it looks like I'm gonna have to eat an apple, too. Not like an apple, too, like the computer. I meant I'm going to have to eat an apple, as well, in order to carry all this stuff. Carry all this stuff, my wayward son. That's how the song goes. And I can't use this healing well because I just healed up from all those apples. Which, uh, I guess... Oh yeah, apples uh, Apples give you HP, which is why they keep the doctor away. Okay, so I went all the way back to floor one for some reason. Do I have two light keys in order to open this door? Yes, I freaking do. Let's go get it, finally. Um, but first, I'm gonna find a fence for all this garbage. Where's the merchant when you need him or her? Oh, directly south of me? Yeah, buddy. Okay. Oh, this is a shield and not a gem. But it's not as good as my shield, so I'm selling it. Uh, I could always use more pants, right? And more boots. Oh, wait, this has dodge chance and dexterity? But it has way less defense, so defense 44 versus 17. Yeah, that kind of sucks, because I love attributes, you know? And qualities and properties and things like that. What is this? Life elixir. Will grant you extra HP for a certain time. Like, uh, it increases my maximum, do you think? Would you like to take a guess at that one? Anyway, what have we here? Oh, a fish? That's cool. Um, Alright, so are any of these, like, totally ballin'? Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy go nuts. And that's all the stuff I sold. Okay, well, let's just go to these light doors. On the first floor. Oh my gosh, the memories are all coming back to me. Uh, of me playing this game just the other day while I had like one of those microwave burritos because for some reason we've been getting we've been getting those lately and being extra healthy you know uh, because it's completely logical to think well I did 30 push-ups today so I can have a whole pizza or a bunch of burritos Man, burritos are awesome. I know I talk about them a lot, but it's it the the praise is well deserved. So congratulations, burritos, for being one of the top foods in the universe. Who knows? Um, I didn't find that much gold. I hope these weapons are like up to. Oh. Okay, there's something I can use. Ooh, what is this shit? Not as good as what I have, but it'll sell for something good, probably, right? 500 bucks, that's cool. Okay, so... I used two light keys for this door. I'm not sure if that was exactly worth it. Uh, but on the other hand, I did get some experience for that. You get, like, 300x for opening a door. Which is why I'm such a high level. Because I open doors all the time, IRL. Oh shit, you know what I just realized? I bet stairs give you experience in real life. I bet that's a thing. Because I fucking hate taking the stairs. Fuck stairs. Elevators, I bet, do not give you any experience. Which is a damn shame. Um, what the hell am I talking about right now? Okay, so let's just try to get back downstairs. 
in a way that may uh, uh, have to involve stairs. Okay, bam. I made it back to floor three. How do I get to floor f to flow foe? Oh, it's like right around the corner over here. Well, this is the part of the video that is most interesting and entertaining because I killed all the enemies and found all the things and now I'm just walking back through empty rooms. Kabam, this floor is flooded with water and you don't have any equipment. So we are sending you to somewhere else. All right, I'm glad they brought me to a floor that wasn't the one that got flooded. Man, I can relate to that because uh, I lived in Louisiana for a while. Anyway, I feel like stopping. I feel like stopping right now because my voice is getting tired or something or I don't know. I'm starting to become unfunny and I can feel that this video is going south like really hard. So I'm just going to end it here. So what I'm trying to say to all you lovely gals and guys is thank you so much for watching this episode of Quest of Dungeons. Until next time, this is Karma Jolt signing off. Tell your friends I'm great. Please.